Yo, what's going on in the Mac Fitness Fit family? We got another EMOM coming at you, a fresh set of routines for you for the next four weeks. And we're going back to our normal EMOMs every minute on the minute here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through four exercises. We're gonna go through six rounds. Total of 24 minutes is gonna be the cap uh, on that one. We're gonna work our way, however, up over the four weeks to include a seventh round in there as a measure of progress, especially if we're using the same weights. We can add volume by simply adding another round in there. So that's gonna be the goal by the fourth week is to get one additional round on week number four for a total of 28 minutes. But for weeks number one through three, we're gonna go four exercises. We're gonna go six times two, it's gonna be 24 minutes. Warm up is gonna be body weight squats and shoulder curls, which we're gonna show you. And then the EMA, minute one is going to be 10 squat cleans, dumbbell squat cleans. Minute two is going to be 12 dumbbell pullovers to press. Minute three is gonna be 14 reverse lunge with a curl. And minute four is going to be 16 V-ups, alternating V-ups, or modification on that's gonna be some starfish crunches. So we know the warm up, guys. Body weight squats, whoa, there's a dumbbell there. We're gonna get into our squat stance, whatever is good for us. Again, mine tends to be hip to shoulder in between there. Everyone's gonna be different. What's comfortable for you, hips back first, bend at the knees, and then work through, bring it all the way up. You're gonna get 25 of those before you move into your shoulder cars. Remember here, guys, with the shoulder car, what it means is controlled articular rotation. Control and articulate the rotation of the shoulder joint, that ball and socket. So, right, we're gonna be nice and tall with our posture. We're gonna be very flexed and tight from the fingertips to the shoulders, which in turn will activate and turn on our lats as well as our pecs. From here, we're gonna move with control up through there. Palms come up, face the ceiling. Once we get up overhead, we reach up a little bit, rotate the palms to face behind us, and then finish all the way back with the palms facing now uh, away from the body. Reverse that direction again with control, probably even slower than I'm going when we get to the top there, the back of the hands are gonna face one another, we're gonna reach up, palms face one another, and then come down. Again, using that same tempo, you're gonna get five of those, you're gonna do two rounds through there, right? Let's get right in the exercise itself. Minute one is going to be our dumbbell squat to cleans. Guys, we've done the cleans before, we've done the hand cleans, we start out with a nice tall posture, feet hip distance apart, soft bend of the knees. What we're gonna do here is just hinge at the hips a little bit, right? Imagine, think of swinging the weights up to the shoulders right here and then finishing right down into a squat. That's one, two, three, right? We're really not swinging, so from a lateral position, what does that look like? We get that hinge in the hips, throw the weights up in the shoulders and then finish down into that squat. We're gonna get 10 of those. We're gonna move then on to our second move. It's gonna be our dumbbell pullovers. We're gonna be laying on the ground here. Feet are gonna be flat. We're gonna maintain 90 degree position, bend of the arms. For the pullover, we're gonna have the elbows slightly over. I'm gonna maintain this position. Let the dumbbells fall behind the head there, right? So the dumbbells are past my head. I use my lats, squeeze the armpits. I imagine you got a, uh, a lemon underneath the armpits. Squeeze those together. I finish and then bring it up for a four press. Right back down to that start position. Don't allow the dumbbells to hit the ground here. Get the pull over, allow the dumbbells to come. Maintain that 90 degree position, bring them back to that start, all the way down for the press. Bring up overhead, back down, and finish your 12 reps, all right? From there, we're gonna get up using, again, same set of dumbbells here. We're gonna go alternating reverse lunge with a curl. I'm gonna take that step back and that reverse lunge. As I come up, I'm gonna do a twisting curl back down alternating legs back through there. As we go through, you're gonna get 14 of those. We're dropping the dumbbells for that last, or minute four last exercise. I'll show you the modified version two, or first, and then we'll go into the actual work and what that's gonna look like here. So our first one's gonna be our starfish that we uh, have done many times before. Legs are gonna be spread out. If you tend to notice that your glutes or the hips start to get a little tight, bring the feet in just a little bit closer. Arms are out, legs are out. We're gonna come up, there's one. That's gonna be two, you're gonna to get to 16. Another uh, modification would be bend in the legs, force that back in the ground, bring the arms out, and then just reach those shoulders, reach for the ceiling, and get that upper abdominal a little bit of oblique punch there. The uh, advance or the move that we have listed is gonna be our alternating V-ups. Right, we're gonna have a little bit of bend. We're gonna come up, and one, two, three, all the way up to 16. Once you complete minute number four, then you're gonna go right back in, minute five, so it's back at one, right? No rest with this one here. The only rest is gonna be, like EMOMs usually, the space in between when you complete into the next move. Now, 
if you find yourself, which tends to be the case here, uh, if you find yourself coming up short on time or not able to complete the reps, remember guys, simply scale down, right? And maybe go right across the board, eight, 10, 12, 14 on those so that you're allowing yourself to complete the prescribed number of reps inside the minute and giving yourself a little bit of rest in between there, guys. That's what we got for you for this Monday. It's a motherfucking Monday. Peace and love.